gaming. ESRB. It's in the game. R B. You know, it sounds like 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 they're like they're cops. Right. It's like this is ESRB. I'm the ESRB. Stop freaks. <laughs> oh, we love it. So let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. All right, we have the Entertainment Software Rating Board. What do we got? That's a mouthful. That's Again, a love it because it is free. You can't get and any better Zev than and this. I, Zev and I love free. Yes. Not because we're cheap, just because uh, we're parents and we're fathers and we spend a lot of money on our kids. That's right. So we like we like free stuff. All right, so status, right? I mean, stats. Uh, non-for-profit, self-regulatory body established, which assigns video game ratings across the board. Yes. And they were actually were established by the Entertainment Software Association, the ESA. And apparently anybody and everybody who makes games is part of this association. Um, so by default, anybody and everybody, anybody who makes games gets an ESRB label on them. Um, and if you get no label, you cannot be part of the organization. That That is my understanding of, of ESA and ESRB. Um, pros. You know, I, we, we have a list of pros here, so but I think the biggest pro to this is the fact that there is a rating on the game you're purchasing for your family, for your son, for your daughter, for yourself, for your wife, for your girlfriend, whatever it is, so you know exactly how age-appropriate this game is, right? right? Um, so that's very, very cool. So I, I think that is the biggest pro That there. is the biggest um, pro, absolutely. Biggest pro. And I, and I love the fact now they have, they have a, a, an app for your smartphone. Um, I have an iPhone. Um, I know uh, I, and I use it uh, quite often. I, but I've never, I don't know if they have one for the Android phone. Do you I know I haven't that? seen it. No, I'll take yeah, a look I don't know though. if they do. I, 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 I'm going to say yes. Just check it out. But um, pretty cool app. I like it a lot. Um, right. And then, of course, it, the search on the website. The, the website is, is laid out very nicely as well. It is nice. And it is nice. Uh, so that's very cool. And, it, of course, it lists uh, sites that offer uh, digital literacy. So it allows you. Now, th th now, there are currently, what, seven ratings, I believe? Yeah, I believe so. so we have, what, yeah, early yeah. childhood, teen. everyone, yep. everyone 10 plus, mm -hmm. teen, mature, adults only, and rating pending, right? Right, rating pending, right. exactly. Yeah. So it lays and it out. Pending, you'll see right before the game release. So you, right. they'll, you, you'll see the commercials coming out for the games, and you'll see like a rating pending there. Yeah. Which is very cool. So without having to really know much about the game, you're already able to go to the store, take a look at the game, and say, do I think that, that my child, this, is, this game is age appropriate for my child? Sure. Um, and, yeah. and you know what? There are a lot of games that you don't really realize are not. But due yeah, to sure. that rating, give you a little bit of understanding. Like I was, I'll give you an example. My six-year-old really wanted the Power Rangers uh, game for the for the Nintendo DS. Um, so when we went to go and buy it for him for the holidays, uh, we discovered it had a 10 plus rating. And oh, wow. okay. whether or not you agree with the rating system, that's beside the yeah. point. But nonetheless, he's six years old. So mm -hmm. therefore, we we're able to say, well. Maybe Puss in Boots is more on your on yeah, your list this, this holiday season. So it allows you to get a little bit of a better understanding as far as right. uh, educates the parent, gives you a little bit more Absolutely. understanding of what you're going to buy. And you know, and, and I know some parents don't understand what what teen means or, or, or what any other other ratings mean. But go to the website. Yep. Go to ESRB. Go to the website. It's it's very plain and simple. Mm -hmm. It explains exactly what each rating. Is means um, and why. So, for example, team may be some like you know may have you know some violence, some gore, some blood, whatever the case might be, right. um, and that helps you as a parent understand like, well, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want my child to see gore or blood. So, you know what, I'm not gonna buy this game for him. And like, so like I, this podcast is rated mature only because I'm drinking something. There you, there you go, there you go. Yeah, and I'm drinking, I'm drinking a, 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 a ginger ale because my <laughs> belly hurts. Yes. So. No, no beer for Ray Ray tonight. Yeah. That um, iron constitution of yours. Yeah, man. I, <laughs> the holidays. <laughs> kills me every time, I'm telling you. I gain like 10 pounds and like not my stomach hurts. So, um, but with that so, said, you know, there, there are no real cons yeah, about this I really thing. don't have I'm, too many. <sighs> no. You know, I, I thought well and hard about it, and, and I just really can't find a con about this thing. I mean, we could maybe find a con or two about how the application behaves on the iPhone or how to, how, how navigation works on, on their website, but that's just kind of silly stuff, right? right? I mean, these 
ESRB provides a really wonderful service for, for parents, for caretakers, for guardians um, to help you understand the, the maturity level of each game and how each game is appropriate for, for your children or, or not appropriate for your children. And um, with that said, I mean, we give a five out of, out yeah. of, out of five stars. This is, this is a, um, a, a strong five. I, I don't yeah, really absolutely. see any major issues with ESRB. I think that they do a great job. They provide the information in a, in a fantastic format on most platforms. I don't think that there's anything else to say. You guys did a great job there. Thank you, ESRB. Thank you so much. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. So what do we got? We had a dogfish head beer. I got a uh, Indian brown ale. This is one of my favorites now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So dogfish head just came out with their 17 proof uh, beer, worldwide beer, I think it's called. Yes. I don't know, uh, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. Holy moly, man. Listen, dogfish head, if you're listening, um, I, I may ask for a case, just one beer. Right, right, <laughs> just one to try. I'll figure it just out. One to try. That sounds pretty phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you.